Hello and welcome back to The Simple Joy Show. I don't know about you, but I'm really starting to feel the seasons change here in the UK. And when that starts to happen, the days get shorter, the leaves are starting to fall. I start to feel as though it's a really good time to prepare myself for those cosy seasons, all the festive activities that are coming up. So today I'm going to dive into some decluttering and organising projects that you can get started with before the, the pumpkin spice starts taking over. So take a note of these areas, you could try doing all of them, I could just pick one or two depending on your circumstances, but let's just start getting our home autumn ready. This is The Simple Joy Show, the podcast for people who are ready to declutter and simplify their homes and lives to create more space, time, energy and freedom. I am your host, Hayley Forster, mother, wife and declutter coach, and I'm going to be sharing with you simple bite-sized nuggets to help you on your journey to living a simpler life through the power of decluttering. So if you're ready to choose calm over chaos, then let's dive into today's show. Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you are well. Um, we are good in the Forster household. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a sickness bug over the weekend, which was delightful. Um, but that's part of um, having kids at school, isn't it? And going back, we're in September, all the bugs and the germs are floating about. And yeah, it came into, into our home last week. And both me and my youngest daughter, Poppy, have been quite poorly. But we're coming out the other end now, which is which is a bonus, but luckily to help us with our recovery, shall I say, um, we're going through quite a slow period in our family at the moment, which is just so nice, um, especially after the busy summer that we've had. But we've got no real big plans for a few weeks. I'm really low on meetings with work, things like that. It's just so nice to kind of just ease ourselves back into our routine and just go with the flow, really. Um, and we're able to spend a bit more quality time together on evenings and weekends. And I'm hoping this weekend uh, the weather will hold and we can get out for some nice autumnal walks. And we're really just trying to make the most of it before the festive season starts. In the next couple of weeks or so, it's going to start picking up particularly with um, when you've got kids when they've got activities at school for autumn and Halloween and then all of the Christmas stuff starts after that doesn't it so sorry to say the, the c word this early on but um, yeah it really starts early and I feel like we're, we're fast approaching it so I'm just trying to embrace the slow pace at the moment knowing that it's not going to last for too long but um, it, it's nice to just ease ourselves into it again. But one of the things that I have been focusing on over the past couple of weeks, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of it this weekend, is just getting our home autumn ready. Getting areas of our house decluttered, sorted, organised, get some things put away, bring some things out and just get ourselves ready for the months ahead. And that's what I want to cover with you today. So I'm going to go through some little mini decluttering challenges that you can focus on for the next few weeks to get yourself and your home prepped and ready for the months ahead. So the first one to dive into, and it's probably one of my favourites to do because you usually hear some horror stories about things that has been found, but um, it's your fridge, your freezer and your pantry area. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to feeling organised and in control when I'm in my home, if I've got the food situation under control, I know what I've got. I know that I've got a healthy amount of meals in there for the family. I feel as though I've got some semblance of sanity um, and that really helps towards just feeling really calm and contented. So take the opportunity now to go through, purge anything out of your cupboards, your, your freezer or your fridge that's expired and get all of your drawers tidy, your cabinets tidy and just essentially see what food you've got on hand. As I say, get rid of all of the things that, that are expired past the best and you'll be left with things that you're able to, to use moving forward. And that will really help you find not only what you're going to need in the future more quickly, but you're also not letting food go to waste. 
since you know what you've got, you know what you need to use up before it goes bad and that ultimately is going to save you money as well. But this time of year is a great time to do this. I mean, I usually try to keep on top of the food items anyway because of the fact that, especially with the fresh items, that they, they will go out of uh, date quite quickly. But your stable things, the things that are in your pantry, it's a great time to do them now because I don't know about you, but I've got young kids that love bacon. Um, usually during the festive period, we end up um, cooking a lot more. We've got a lot more food coming into the house. So it's great just to be able to have clearer cupboards, especially the bacon cupboard, as I say. My eldest daughter loves baking a cake. So having a good purge of the ingredients in that and, and knowing what we've got, what we need to buy moving forward is a massive help. The months of October, November, December, January, February for us, um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of events. There's a lot of birthdays as well. So there's going to be a lot of influx of food items and just having those clear up spaces makes it so much easier. So that's a great area to start with. Um, even if you just pick one cupboard or just one shelf of your fridge to start with, it's gonna make an impact. Another area you can look at is if you've got an office or a desk space at home, even if it's a small area of a you know, the kitchen table, then you're going to know that this area of your home can really get out of control quite easily. So now is a great time for you to get a handle on the paperwork that's built up um, and start creating a more clean and simplified area that you're able to work on. And that's really going to help you stay organised and be much more productive over these next few busy months. Another good little project is your wardrobe. So the sunny weather is fading if you're anywhere in the northern hemisphere. So now is a really good time for you to start thinking about maybe storing away some of your summer outfits, your summer shoes. So I would really recommend sorting through your summer clothing, decide what you're going to keep in store things that you're going to donate or anything that you're going to, to, to discard and then just refresh your autumn wardrobe by pulling out any jumpers or warmer items that you've had stored away over the summer months and get those winter boots out as well um, and it, it's not just about getting rid of things out of your wardrobe and putting things away it's also about pulling those things out as well isn't it it's about rediscovering your wardrobe in a way and finding all of those nice cozy items that, that you forgot you had and I don't know about you but I love getting out my cozy pajamas and my cozy jumpers and snuggle hoodies and things like that and just getting under a blanket once it starts getting that little bit cooler so I love getting um, my cozy items out again Another item on the list is your craft supplies. We've got a little craft trolley at our house um, and usually it starts to get really used a lot more over the next few months. We spend more time indoors, the weather's not so great, we might not be able to go out as much as we want with the dogs. Um, so crafting actually becomes like a really nice project for us to do on a rainy Sunday afternoon. So now is a great time for you to get out your craft supplies, declutter what you no longer need, anything that's dried up, any paints or glues or things like that. And it's a great way to work out what you've got and perhaps what you might need to, to do some crafting projects over the festive period. My girls love making things over autumn and winter for gifts and things like that. So it's good knowing what you've got, what you need and being able to get everything ready in advance. And again, you can be, be prepared and organised and not be rushing around last minute thinking, oh, I need to buy this. I forgot this. Oh, I thought I had this, but no, I don't. And yeah, it, it can get a little bit chaotic. So just being prepared and organised, knowing what craft items you've got, what you need to get so you can get them well in advance makes a massive difference. And the last area I want to touch on is your outdoor wear. So your coats, your shoes, anything like that. So we've got a cupboard in our entryway and in there we've got all of our coats and I choose, it's quite a small cupboard so I choose them to be seasonal coats. So summer coats go up in winter into the wardrobe upstairs. 
and vice versa. Um, we also keep our shoes and our hats, scarves, gloves, sunglasses, things like that. Again, depending on the seasons. So wherever you store your outdoor items, it's good to have a good look through there, good purge. Remove any seasonal items, get those summer thinner jackets away in the wardrobes. Make more space for those warmer, bulkier coats that we're all going to need over the next few months. Get your summer hats and your sunglasses out the way. Make some space for the woolly hats and the scarves and the gloves. And any bigger footwear items as well, such as um, wellies. We keep those in the bottom of that cupboard as well. And all of these things, all of these winter outdoor items tend to be quite bulky so anything that you can move out that is seasonal that is from the summer and to make way for these things so we're just going to make it so much easier to maintain that cupboard space or racks or, or wherever you keep your items so those are the mini decluttering tasks that you can do over the next few weeks to get yourself ready for the new season. Just give you a little recap. So the first one was your food items, so things in your fridge, your freezer, your pantry. Get rid of anything that's old, that's expired, that you don't use anymore and make space for all of the food items that are going to be coming in as you're, you're baking up a storm over the festive period. The second one was your desk or office space. Just get yourself all organised with your paperwork. It's coming up to a busy period so being as organised and having a simplified workspace will really make a difference. The third one was transition your wardrobe. So put away those sundresses and flip-flops and get out those big cosy jumpers and your slippers. The next one was create yourself a little craft station. Get all your craft supplies out. Eliminate all the ones that are no longer good and get all that fresh stuff out so you're ready to, to craft up a storm over the festive period. And the last one is your winter outdoor wear. Again, same with the wardrobe. Do a bit of a transition and make way for those bigger, bulkier items. Now, just give you one last little tip. Whether you've got kids in school or not, autumn just really feels like a bit of a fresh start to me. A lot of people call it the kind of second new year and it's just a chance for you to really get back on track with, with good habits and routines and, and try to make the autumn and winter period much more calm and intentional. And one of my favourite ways to, to reset, I suppose, is to just do a purge of everything that you no longer use or need. So just take a few extra minutes to just go through your your drawers, your cupboards and anything that's been kind of niggling you over the past few months that you've been wanting to take to the charity shop, grab them, put them in a bag, put them in a box and take them. Donate them or just sell them on Facebook, eBay, anything like that and that's just going to help you make me feel that little bit lighter clear your mind a little bit more before going into the busier season so if there's any little tasks outstanding such as that just get those ticked off your list if you are wanting to do more of a bigger overhaul of your home before the festive period, I have just released my 30 day decluttering challenge. It is a free mini course that I've put together. It's a collection of videos from a 30 day challenge that I'd done a year or so ago now. It was the beginning of the year, January time. And each and every single day, you get a five, 10 minute video that you can watch that will give you a decluttering challenge for that day. Each of the decluttering challenges are designed to be, be small, be mini and not overwhelming. So they'll take you maybe about 15, 20 minutes to do. And by the end of the 30 days, you really notice a massive difference in your home. And it focuses on lots of different areas, including some of the ones that I've covered here today. So if you're interested in signing up to that free course, I will drop the link in the show notes so you can sign up to that and get started immediately. And by the end of October, you'll be ready and raring to go for those busy few months ahead. So that's it for today's episode. Organising your home in preparation for autumn can really make the transition so much smoother and more enjoyable for you and the whole family. So these little projects that I've given you today, you're not just going to declutter your space, but you're really setting the stage for a really cosy and organised season. And I don't know about you, but I love a cosy and organised season at any time of the year, but during autumn and winter just makes it all the better. So I will see you on the next episode. Have a great week. Take care. 
thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support The Simple Joy Show further, then please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Instagram at hellosimplejoy. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.